My name is Lenny James and I play Salter in A Number. My name is Papa Siadu and I play B1, B2 and Michael in A Number. It's a play about parenthood, familial relationships and what the fathers do to sons, sons do to fathers. I absolutely agree. <laughs> <laughs>《Unpredictable》Challenging》And funny》Sometimes》Sometimes <laughs>》The way we do it anyway <laughs> I think people should see this play if they want a really good evening in the theatre Because all of this play is a series of two men In our case two black men in a room um, Trying to figure out who they are to each other It's got a lot to offer to the times that we're in right now I think one of the things this play kind of challenges is um, what we do unconsciously and the, um, the potential we have to behave in a more conscious manner to each other. It's really weird, okay? This is kind of really weird. And it is like the universe going, you two should be sat on a bench in, um, in Waterloo talking to you about this particular thing. People have been trying to put me and Papa together for about the last four or five years. I was hearing about him when he did his Hamlet and, um, and I saw him for the first time, I think it was either in, was it press? Um, and, uh, and I'd just been following him the whole time because I was like, who is this guy, who is this guy? And then I was watching his work and it's just impeccable. I love, I've said this to Papa, so I'm, I'm not just saying it to big him up, but I love a thinking actor. I love an actor who allows you into the soul of their characters and are not just saying the lines. And that's him. He's someone I really wanted to work with. And when the opportunity came to come back to England and do a play, it was a weird one because it was about finding a play, but somewhere in the back of my head, it was finding a play that I could work with with this guy. And this is the one that came up. For me, particularly at, at a time when I was kind of thinking about what I'm going to do in my life kind of thing. <laughs> I, I watched a show that Lenny was in and Lenny's been in like huge, huge, huge projects, but it wasn't one of the big ones. It was this show called Fallout that was on the BBC. And I remember at the time it was very affecting to me because I'd, I'd really kind of never seen that kind of world put on in that way. And obviously, yeah, watching Lenny's performance in it kind of like really, really made me feel like, oh, maybe there is a space that can be carved out for people like me. I've got a lot to thank Lenny for in terms of working with him now, you know, I'd never meet your heroes. <laughs> You've blown it. <laughs> Performing at the Old Vic will be a first for me. Coming back after the time that I've been away, it's going to be full on. I mean, it's not like I've gone into a black box. I've gone into one of the you know, major theatres in the country. So um, I haven't made it easy for myself, but I'm really looking forward to it. Also looking forward to what we want the theatrical tradition of this country to be today and tomorrow and moving forward. It's about um, kind of moving forward in a progressive way. And I feel like this is a show, this is a team, this is a production that um, can be emblematic of that. And I feel very proud to be at the centre of that. I think living in the new normal to a certain extent, what, how, whatever confines it's put on us as um, actors has hit um, the community um, in theatre more than anybody else really, in a, it, within the arts to a certain extent, because it's, a, it's the place that needs um, uh, collaboration. It's the part, place that needs everybody to kind of be together. And that's been particularly difficult, both for audiences and and the people who create it. On both sides, there's an appetite for um, people to want to work on it, and there's an appetite for people to come into contact with it. So long may it continue, I think. <laughs>